Peace, peace, peace to the family, brother Red Pill, Know the Ledge, Know the Ledge Radio, Know the Ledge TV, Know the Ledge Films, coming live and direct at you. Alright, um, I just want to quickly build with the family about um, just the importance of doing the knowledge about this technology, this tech boom as a matter of fact is taking place. Right now we're in Newark, New Jersey, you know what I mean, and um, if you do the research, you will find out that uh, there are a lot of there's a lot of money on the table. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm this co this whole conversation is about empowerment. At the end of the day, I just want to clear that up. You know what I mean? I want to share some of the research that I've been doing with the brothers and sisters out there, so they could take this information and empower themselves. But um, some of the things that we need to start researching and studying is um, accelerators, incubators, startups, startup ecosystems. Um, you know. Uh, free app development, go online, find out about uh, app development for children, just Google all of these things. Uh, code writing for children, free code writing programs, because of the boom that is taking place and the money that's on the table for urban development, um, we're missing out. Okay, every other day there's some new fucking bagel shop opening in the hood or some other little regentrification project that's taking place and we're like, yo, how did they come in the hood? Because they're taking grants that are on the table for you to regentrify, to fix your hood up and clean your hood up and they're calling that regentrification and they're taking it, they're going ahead and doing the paperwork and taking the money and opening up a fucking bagel spot where the trap house used to be. And what they're doing even more so now, because there's a tech boom and there's initiatives in both Newark, New York is called Silicon Alley. It's second to Silicon Valley when it comes to um, money that's being invested in the whole tech sector. So they're going ahead and tapping into that urban development, the um, you know, and going into depressed communities like Harlem and whatnot, taking the money that's allocated for us to create startups, accelerators. Um, incubators, what accelerators and incubators are basically like if they rent out a warehouse and they have different desks and whatnot with computers in there and let's say that Hakeem wants to do something dealing with uh, you know he wants to do apps he wants to develop apps for the iPhone and Google he got ideas that he wants to do a fucking uh, ism app that, that you know when you pull up the app it comes up with all grades of weed and whatnot you could take a picture of the weed yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean that's free billions right there but you know let's just say that he's into app development let's say that I'm into um, coming up with some shit dealing with tech wearable tech where you know I'm gonna have something on the on my clothes it's like you know that will pick up on the phone and whatnot Let's say that another brother is developing something for the Google Glasses. We'll come together in the incubator and there'll be professionals who are like, you know, they're, they're basically, they, they have all of the know-hows. They know how to help you get the money. They know how to help you incorporate. They know all of the steps that you need to take to take your idea, because everything starts as an idea, and to develop that into a multi-million dollar startup company that you will develop and eventually sell, because the idea you don't want to hold on to these companies. Look at people like Mark Cuban and all of these other people. They take these companies, they sell them for a few million, then they go ahead and start that shit all over again and build up about three or four more other companies, put that on the market, build them up, sell them off. That's the name of the game. So that's where incubators and accelerators that are popping up all over New York City, that's what's going on right now. Most of the people that are involved in it, Europeans, Asians, East Indians, uh, brothers and sisters from the African continent, but um, you know, we're not there. We're not. We're not part of that race. And all of us have cell phones. Motherfuckers, is, you can't. You can't ride the train. You can't even look at people in the eyes no more. Everybody's nose is in their phone. Everybody's participating in the act of technology, but we're not creating it. Okay, and. The, the shit is going to hit the fan in 5 or 10 years where we're going to be like, oh, we should have been doing that. It's going to be too late. So we need to help close the digital divide, get in on top of the boom. I call it a boom because it's a boom right now. Don't get in there when the shit busts because there, there'll be no money in there. There's a boom, meaning that people are throwing money all over the place. We are some of the most innovative, creative, and idea-filled idea people. So we got to start coming together. 
Go to meetup.com, eventbrite.com, start forming events, start forming circles. You know what I'm saying? We got to get together and talk about more than the bullshit that we talk about. We got to talk about more than this gossip. We got to talk about more than the sports. If we're going to talk about these things, let's utilize our minds to create services and products built around these things so we can make a few million dollars. You know what I mean? Possibly a few billion dollars because just the other day they had an app called What's App and um, Facebook bought it for $19 billion. And that's a fucking texting. That's, a, that's an app where they was using to text each other. Like how you use SMS and all of that. They bought that for $19 billion. So it's just going to show you how much money is being spent out there for simple technologies that started out as ideas. You dig what I'm saying? So all of our communities that are depressed, Detroit, they got all of this warehouses for sale, all of this land for sale, all of these empty houses for sale. Uh, Atlanta, Baltimore, D.C., New York, Newark, all of these places that are being plagued, Chicago, by violence where the youth are out there with nothing to do, aimlessly killing each other. We need to create programs. We need to create, we need to come and buy some of these houses, develop, put max inside of these houses, make them Wi-Fi, get the equipment, put these children, these at youth um, children, and teach them all of these technologies because the babies are hardwired with, for the technolo they're, they're digital, they're, they're hardwired for the technological age. Ask any fucking three-year-old. My three-year-old could work my, my Mac the way that I can't work it. He was pulling up shit when he was three. When I got a six-year-old when he was three, he was pulling screens up that I never seen before. So the babies are being born hardwired into this matrix, into the future. With the, we're, we're analog who switched into digital. They're born digital. So they're going to be the ones that are going to create the apps. Go online. It's fucking 10-year-old millionaires, 11, 12, 13-year-old app developers, website developers. You know what I mean? All kind of stuff. So we have to take advantage of the shit that's in front of us right now. Don't wait for it. Go learn about the grants, write up some proposals, the sisters that are out there, the brothers that are out there with, with these uh, degrees and whatnot in business, you know how to write these proposals, you know how to search for grants, get together, it's not a one man thing, alright? Go to the movies at the end of the movie when the credit rolls, you don't just see the fucking acting and directing the credit, it's hundreds of people on board, there's no Asian, there's no one Asian opening up a wig shop. That's a communal effort. There's no fucking one person, you know, creating uh, uh, this technology. Uh, when they make the iPhone and the Macs and all of that, and these cameras and stuff like that, there's hundreds of people on board. So as a people, we got to put some of our petty differences to the side, come together, stop worrying about getting money right now at the moment. You know what I mean? Sacrifice a little bit, sit down at the table, let's build. You dig what I'm saying? We have to build for the futures. We got to build for these babies. We got to build for the future because what's coming down the pipeline if we do not build, I'm not into fear mongering, but you niggas is going to get washed up straight like that. You're going to be you're going to be the peasant class of the world. You because the third world is still they want to come up right now. They all into technology and other things. A lot of people you see how the third world came into America and they showed you they showed you how they be on their grind. Four jobs on you niggas. They don't sleep. You go in Harlem, it be sleet and it's snow, big fucking snow drifts. The Africans got a tent selling incense and oils. It don't stop with them. Christmas, Valentine's Day, Thanksgiving, I don't give a fuck what the holiday is. Them niggas is out there. They about their bread. They showing you like it doesn't stop with us. They building villages in Africa and they got the and they buying up neighborhoods and they buying all of them restaurants in Harlem. They own that right now. All up and down 116th and all of that stuff. So we got to adapt what is known as communal economics. Look how the Mexicans do it. 20 people in a house. Five years later, 20 people own 20 houses. You dig what I'm saying? So we just got to get on our jobs. You know what I mean? And I hope, you know, I'm, I'm not on some preachy shit, but I'm just sharing what I know. You know what I mean? Because I'm doing the research and everything is online. Damn, near everything is free. It's in your face. Nobody's going to tell you about it. I'm going to tell you about it. Hopefully other people will come along and tell you about it. But they're giving you the gossip. They're telling you what fucking underwear Rihanna's wearing. They're telling you all of this dumb shit. You know what I mean? How to surfboard and all of this stupid shit. And you falling for that. Meanwhile, the world is developing at a very fast pace. And they making billions of dollars in your face. And you're, you're, you're going to be the customer. You don't want to be the customer. You want to be the hustler. Alright? So with that being said, it's just some words of wisdom. You know what I mean? Hopefully we could build further on that. I'm going to be we putting together some seminars. 
and some webinars so I don't have to just say it. I could physically, visually show you everything that we're building on and we could take this thing a step further. But if there's any people out there, brothers and sisters, even if you're not brothers and sisters, because I'm not making this shit a color thing. You know what I mean? Because this, this, this world is, you know, we cosmopolitan, universal people. If there's any people out there that are about building when it comes to this technological aspect of furthering ourselves as a culture, as a generation, because we the hip-hop generation. So the hip-hop generation, we come in all shapes and sizes, shades and color. Hit me up. KTL Empowerment at Gmail. That's K is in King, T is in Tower, and L is in Larry. Empowerment, E M P O W E R E um, M E N T at Gmail.com. And we'll build from there. You know what I'm saying? And check us out uh, on Blog Talk Radio every Tuesday and Friday. BlogTalkRadio.com backslash Know the Ledge Radio. You can call in and listen to it live, 347-637-2135. We broadcast every Tuesday night, every Friday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, all the way to 12 a.m. Check us out, all right? Salute, peace, peace and prosperity, love and light, you know what I mean? And all that other good shit. One.